วัสดีครับ Welcome to my dish channel I'm Jim and today we will use red curry paste that we have made and turn it into another dish called spicy stir fry with red curry so let's check out what we need first and then I will go a little bit more in detail before we start cooking for the meat right Basically, you can use any type of meat, all right? Chicken, beef, lamb, but for me, pork is the best. Today, I use pork belly, you know, with a little bit of fat in layers, or soya. For the veggies, right? Normally, we use long bean or snake bean, but you can use any types of veggies. Cauliflower, broccoli, carrot is up to you. But for us, normally long bean together with cafe lamb leaves. Just to give you the smell. Oh, sorry. You know that this one we don't eat, right? Just give you more smell. For the long bean, right? Cut the head off. And then make it half and cut it around 3 centimeters like this. Not too short, not too long. All right, cut it all. Okay, like this. And then put it into the bowl, right? For the long bean, right? If you like it crunchy, don't do anything about it. When you stir fry, just put it in and then stir fry it. But if you like it soft, right? You have to boil it first and then take it out, put it into the cold water to keep the texture. Rinse it out and then you put it later. This is how I do it. But today I like it a little bit crunchy, so I will cook it like this when I when we stir fry with meat. All right, let's start cooking. Okay, warm up the oil. Use like a medium. All right, I put the oil in around two tablespoon, and then just you know warm warm it up. And then you put red curry paste in. And then warm it up again. Keep going until you get the smell. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Yes, and then you put meat in. Today I use pork, right? So put it in and keep cooking. Mix it with the red curry paste. It will be dry soon. So we will add more water, just a little bit of water in. Yes, keep going, keep going. Yes, a little bit of water. Yes, otherwise it's burnt. Yes. Keep going until the pork is nearly cooked. How long? I don't know. It's up to you. You know the way you cut it, how thick it is. Yes. Keep going. Oh, it smells so yum. Woo. Okay, and then before we seasoning, a little bit of water, seasoning sauce, fish sauce, oyster, and then sugar. Keep mixing it. A bit, right? And then, veggies. Yes. And just keep going. 
Ó, oh, inhamo. Inhamo. For me, I like it. Uh, I like veggie a little, a little bit cooked. So I will cook a little bit more. Yep. Ooh. Oh, the, the pork will pack so good. Yes. Yes. All right, and then turn the gas off. Yeah. Woo. And then coffee lime. Not too small, remember? Because we don't want to eat it. Just give you the smell. Add more smell. Mix it a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. Yes. Mm. On the plate. Okay, pretty easy, right? If you have red curry paste ready, this one is very, very easy. And normally we use only red curry paste to mix it with another food, right? Not green, not panang. Some people, they do green curry stir fry, you know, as a fried rice. For me, it's a little bit funny. Why? For me, the reason because if you remember, in red curry paste, we put only black pepper. Green curry, panang curry, we put two more things cumin seeds and coriander seeds, right? So the smell is quite strong. This one, not so strong. So normally we use this one to make it into another dish, right? For the meat, any type of meat again. For me, pork. Veggies is up to you, but it goes out with long bean or snack bean. So let's try it. Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh yum. Mm. And it's very spicy. So when you put in uh, curry paste, know your limit, right? For me, it's good. That's it. Hope you enjoyed watching again. Wish you were here.